Assalamualaikum and hi class. Uh, we continue again. Okay, now uh, I would like to say more on capstan design. I think you are quite new. Alright. Uh, with this word capstan design, what is it? Okay. Alright. Uh, because uh, you are third year student. I think you have year. You, 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 you heard a lot from your senior about capstone design or oh, about plan design project more about, about plan design project i think rather than capstone design so basically the generic name the the, the plan design project is uh, classified under category of capstone capstone uh, course Okay, first of all, I would like to ask you this question. Are you ready to shift from the role of student to that of new engineer? Do you think? What do you think about this? Alright. So, let me tell you uh, the challenge. Okay, the new engineers challenge. So what I mean by the new engineers is something like a fresh graduate engineers. Okay, this is among the challenge that face uh, by the uh, fresh graduate engineer. So uh, most of them uh, uh, telling us that there are so many different tasks and activities happening when they enter their uh, new career life and then uh, most of the com company expect that, that they can learn quickly okay they can learn quickly and some of them are overwhelmed by self-directed learning okay self-directed learning means that they expect that you can learn by yourself all right and then uh, there's a lot of teamwork and uh, a lot of successful engineer uh, managed to handle uh, the challenge uh, just because of they have a very good communication and eh? very good uh, public relations and time management is also another thing eh? another thing that are very important because when you enter a career life basically you need to manage your own time uh, there is no lecturer that will set you uh, when is the test one when is the test two when is the final uh, and then you you have a lot of uh, due date for the, your assignment but basically when you enter the your career uh, your company will expect you to solve or to complete a certain job all right but mainly the, the time duration it, it uh, it's longer okay it's longer but for well, somehow, if you cannot manage your own time, you will make up, well, you, you will make all the, the job uh, become a last minute job. Yeah? Okay. So, alright. So, the idea of having capstone design project is basically, uh, is a type of a mini version of the workplace. Eh? Mini version uh, of the workplace is something like reality uh, assignment eh? it's something like reality assignment uh, it has been proved that the capstone design project can successfully mirror mirroring the workplace environments so by having the capstone design project uh, it's actually expose the student and uh, practice the student, student uh, to adapt to a problems and uh, the student may also get, uh, uh, have the adaptability skills yeah? adaptability skills after they go through a capstone design project yeah? after they completing the capstone design project and at the end, what we expect is we can produce a good engineer. Uh, that is our hope. Okay. So, so no wonder that capstone design project is a compulsory course, especially for process you know, engineering uh, program. Okay. 
this is among the things okay uh, uh, what to say about this uh, uh, the the Okay, <laughs> I'm lost, I'm lost a bit. Okay, this is what you should expect. Okay, Capstone Design Project. <coughs> okay, uh, been introduced with the previous uh, lecture, but I try again to, to uh, uh, refresh this with you. Okay, so it will gather the knowledge from, pre from previous course. So you don't expect that only the equipment design project is enough for the capstone design okay for the capstone design okay basically what you have learned before previously okay will be applied okay when you you try to complete your capstone design project it require you uh, to learn by yourself some of it okay this is called self-directed learning so uh, this is uh, exposure okay to expose you that's what is actually how do you feel uh, when you enter your career life okay uh, you need to work in team okay so you will uh, uh, enhance your teamwork skill your communication skill and the professional skill for example like uh, drawing uh, mechanical drawing yeah, and other skill uh, and then uh, finally, what we, we would like to gain is we want to prepare you, is okay, uh, ready to go to, to enter a career life. So basically, Capstone Design Project provides a transition from university to work. Okay. So, the main objective of Capstone Design Project okay is to provide a multidisciplinary experience eh? integrating knowledge from the core or intermediate and advanced courses in um, chemical engineering or for your case in process and food engineering okay so uh, what you have learned from first second year second year uh, and third year courses will be applied eh? And then finally, you're going to uh, basically you're going to conduct. Uh, 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 you will start uh, doing your design project from EPF four eight zero two, which is plan design course, uh, where you will perform a basic engineering report, or in other words, for that is feasibility report. And then finally. Uh, you need to complete, uh, you need to provide a detailed uh, plan design report uh, during this course, EPF 4947, Process and Food Plan Design Project. Okay, now let's look, okay, uh, the phase, okay, how the, the structure of process engineering project been applied, all right. So for the phase one, all right, which is process design, this will be uh, this assignment will be conduct uh, during EPF four eight zero two okay four eight zero two process and food plan design. So in this big assignment or uh, mini project, uh, students are required to produce a basic engineering design report or in other word for this is feasibility design report. Then. Uh, for plan design, okay, phase two plan design, uh, you will learn about this how to design, how to select, how to select, how to calculate the size of some of the unit operation, some of the equipment, all right, uh, during EPF 4801 process equipment design, okay, during these classes, during this course, now basically, uh, that's why I have to explain first what is capstone design. Okay, I need to introduce you first because uh, EPF four eight zero one is uh, is can can consider uh, a basis, eh? uh, one of the basic subject uh, to support the capstone design project. All right, and then for the next stage, stage this phase. The cost estimation, eh, purchase, and procurement 
this is basically for your future workplace staff. We won't we won't evaluate you during this uh, capstone design project because uh, this involves a procurement. Of course, you cannot perform it uh, during your study. Okay, now. So EPF 4801, process equipment design. Okay, let me introduce some of the cost policy. Okay, this is our CLO. We do have cost learning outcome, false cost learning outcome. So we look at the keyword. Okay, uh, the first uh, CLO is to design process equipment yeah, to, enable, to ensure that the student are able to design process equipment to meet performance specification and economy. All right. Uh, then next to analyze common process equipment and its component eh? so there is requirement of certain things when you have design you need to some analyze the maybe the the uh, in terms of the energy costing eh? uh, and then you need to maybe this is the particular things that you need to uh, apply uh, to, to to select which is the best equipment uh, to consider in your plan design and then this one is to describe the third one is to uh, to make sure that you are able to describe the principle of process human design and then the fourth one is uh, identify engineering method all right to calculate and solve new problems so three of the CRO is cognitive so it means they involve they will involve with your knowledge eh? you will assess your knowledge while the last one is will assess your effective all right so uh, you already know about this okay why we have this eh? uh, this is basically to to remind you again what is outcome based education okay and then this is our uh, program outcome okay so we have four we have PO1, PO3, PO8, and PO414. So look at the uh, keyword, apply knowledge on math of mathematics, science, engineering, right? Uh, the fundamental, lah. basically PO1 is a fundament fundamental, is a, a, to apply the core engineering knowledge that you have learned previously. So PO3 is more towards on the uh, uh, design solution, eh? to design system. Uh, or process all right uh, and then you must make sure you consider the public health and safety cultural eh? societal and environmental consider uh, uh, environmental aspect and then po8 are more towards on uh, look at all the impact of professional engineering solution on societal and environmental context so uh, this is more on the ethical all right then PO14 is more on uh, is independent and lifelong learning. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Keto 40 is eh? lifelong learning. All right. So, from the PO that we have just now, okay, this is the, our my assessment plan. Okay, our assessment plan with Dr. Faiz. All right. So, Syllabus, okay. This is our topic that we're going to cover uh, up to week 14. All right. Uh, equipment that we going, uh, things that we need to consider before we design equipment is you need to able to know the material construction. All right. Uh, and then you need to know on then next. Uh, we uh, and another things when because we, we are full program another things that you need to consider is on the hygienic design okay then the unit operation that you will look at is temperature okay piping selection pump compressor valve heat exchanger design all right okay this is a book that we use this is your main textbook okay all right, this is a government textbook. All right, so I think that's it for now. I already introduced you capstone design. I uh, hope you clear. You have a clear picture of about capstone design, and then clear picture why you need to learn uh, equipment design. Okay, class. See you.
again bye assalamualaikum